Running Social, the Facebook Hangout for Runners. Hi guys, my name is Eric Worrell. I'm the co-creator of Running Social. I just wanted to welcome you to this video and uh, just a quick thank you for uh, popping in. So uh, first things first, you might be asking yourself, what is Running Social? Well, Running Social is a Facebook timeline app for runners, more specifically, your runners. A quick overview. The things that this app will provide to you is increased engagement with your runners and also your online followers. It will also provide branding, lots of branding. Provide more value for your runners and lots and lots of information. And most importantly, the viral effect. All right, let's take a look at a uh, case study of one particular uh, running store that's located in Buffalo, New York. All right, we're going to take a look at a, uh, we're going to drop it in here, a Facebook timeline, or excuse me, a Facebook fan page for Fleet Feet Sports Buffalo. As you can see, this is a pretty well done uh, page. Uh, they have a good amount of likes, so people that are paying attention to them. Uh, they got some uh, events, maps, photos, and all other information that's required. Uh, this is the most important part of your Facebook fan page. This is the very top of it. This is what gets the most uh, visibility from your viewers. So you want to maximize your timeline apps, which are the likes, the map, and the events that you see there. Uh, one thing you notice is that the uh, map is actually also listed. That information is listed under sports and recreational activities. So it's on there twice. So what I would suggest for this particular timeline app is to, for running social, is to actually implement that into maps. So we're going to do that right now. All right, running social. So now let's click on the actual uh, timeline app and then uh, go from there and see, show you what it can do for you. All right, so now we've clicked on the timeline app running social and we're inside of the program. So here we are, as you can see, it's kind of a fun little design. Uh, here is my information. I'm logged in through Facebook on running social. It says I'm waiting for approval for premium account right in here. The, uh, what that means is that we've actually made it so you have two types of accounts. So you can open it up for free to all of your uh, people who like your Facebook page, but then if you had some uh, runners that actually pay uh, money for some of your running programs where you might uh, do like for marathon runners, uh, this way if they pay that money, it's an added value to them and you can keep track of uh, their runs and all their information for them, which we can get into a little bit later. As you can see to the right here, I have uh, the Nike Lunar Racer Plus. I actually uh, put that information in. It allows you to keep track of uh, the shoe that you're wearing for your runs. And then to the right of that, you see uh, total distance to date ran. So these two things combined is great information for a store owner because you can know how many miles that your runners have put on the shoes that they're wearing and all that information. So say you know that shoe runs out in a certain mileage, you can send them maybe a Facebook notification or an email letting them know that they're getting close and those shoes need to be uh, replaced soon. So moving further down, uh, here's a quick map that shows you just your uh, latest uh, run location. And over here, this is real neat. This is your latest run, all the information that's involved with it. You have start time, end time, total time, distance ran, weather, temperature, terrain, and mood. Uh, right here, we have a leaders board, as you can see. Uh, this is pretty cool because runners are very competitive people. So you can see how you're doing against everyone else within that particular running store and uh, that running group and just keep track of your total mileage and kind of encourage each other and you know kind of make it a competition. And right here is really cool too, is a very neat uh, laid out uh, history of some of the runs that I've been doing. So uh, you can just look through all your runs and you can see uh, exactly what you ran on, what your times were like, and all that information which is very pertinent. So let's go back up to the top and actually we're gonna click on add a run and go through, through the next steps now. We're on the add run tab here. Uh, we're just going to go down real quick. I'm just going to show you how you can choose the date here and then your start time, which is a sliding scroller. Let's say we did a run at 5.30 in the morning, being ambitious. End time, let's say it was 6.08. Uh, distance, um, well, let's say it's uh, 45 minutes and I run a fast pace. I ran a 9.1 mile course this evening or this morning. And then real quick, just weather. It was a little rainy. It was 64. My mood, eh, I was pretty happy to wake up this morning. I ran on the road. And then if you want, you can put the address in. I'm just going to put in, uh, I'll say uh, Chestnut Ridge. There we go. Cool. And submit. So this information gets put in. As you can see, the uh, location shows right here. This is my latest run now. 
and is up my total mileage from 113 to 122.9. But it actually gets a lot cooler than this, and I'm going to show you that in the next step. So this is a really cool feature. I've actually taken a snippet right off of my Facebook wall and uh, superimposed it here for you to take a look at. Uh, every single time one of your runners who uh, is part of your Facebook fan page chooses to post a run, it'll actually go right to their Facebook wall if they let it. So the cool thing about this is not only where it says running social in there and a little bit of information, we can put your branding in there, but also the viral effect. So all of their friends and uh, all the people that they're friends with online will be able to see that they ran and that they ran with your running stores group. It's a really cool way to get your brand name out there and just kind of get the uh, constant repetition of seeing your brand name and putting that in the forefront of not only your runners, but your runners, friends, family, and everyone else. So that's really neat. And then just taking a uh, look at this last page, we just want to do a little recap as far as some of the uh, benefits of this. So the increased engagement, obviously you can see that people are going to be engaging with your uh, Facebook uh, fan page quite a bit more. Uh, also the branding, which we just touched on, they're going to see your store's branding all the time. And when they're with the increased engagement, it's also going to be increased branding. Providing more value, uh, your runners being able to keep track of their runs and then you providing a uh, printout or maybe a uh, email to them showing a list of all their runs that they've had and being able to provide information. Like I just said, information. Uh, being able to know what shoes your runners are wearing and how many miles they're putting on them, when they're running, how long they're running, all this is extremely, extremely valuable information for somebody who owns a running store. And last but not least, the viral effect. Uh, we just touched upon that and just getting your brand and your name out there to not only your current running community, but all their friends and family to see too. So uh, hopefully you liked the video and uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We'd be more than happy to talk and uh, take care. Thanks.